Hey everyone, in this video we're talking about arithmetic sequences. So the really important part to know about arithmetic sequences is this formula that I've written down, Tn equals T1 plus n minus 1 times d. All you need to know is what all the variables stand for, and then you'll be able to use this formula to solve lots of different types of questions. And I'll go over some types of questions you could use this for in this video. The first thing you need to know is what Tn stands for. And Tn just means the nth term. So it could be the second term, the third term, whatever. You always just let n equal a number. If you want to find the 17th term, then n is 17. Wherever you see n, you'd replace it with 17, which means you'd also replace that n with 17. So you would have T17 equals T1 plus 17 minus 1 times D. 17 minus 1 is 16. And then you would need a few other pieces of information to plug into this formula to make it work. Um, T1 stands for the first term. So if you had something like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, T1 is just the first number in the sequence. D is the common difference. And D is always T, um, you can think of it as Tn minus T n minus 1 or if you want. It's just look at two terms, any two in the sequence, and it's one of those terms minus the one that came right before it. So in this case, I could say it's 7 minus 5 will be 2, and positive 2, the sign's important. All that tells me is to get from one term to the next, I add 2. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9. Adding the same number every time will just complete the arithmetic sequence. So the first type of question I think we're going to do is one where we find D. D stands for the common difference. We'll do a little more complicated one than the one I just did. So I'll just leave that up there. So let's say we have the numbers. And I chose this example because it has negatives in it and fractions. So I don't think you're going to get a question that's any more complicated than this because it's kind of got everything. You've got two-thirds, one-fifteenth, and negative eight over fifteen. And this is one of those sequences that goes on forever. So we're being asked to find the common difference. So D is what we don't know. D tells us what number do we add on to get from one term to the next. Sometimes you add on negative numbers, sometimes you add on positive numbers. Um, we don't know yet, so we'll figure that out. Um, so let's do, we'll take this term and we'll subtract this term. So I'll go 1 over 15 minus the term right before it, 2 over 3. To subtract fractions, I need common denominators. 5 and 3, not the same number, so I need to make them the same using multiply. I multiply everything on that fraction by 5. That'll become 1 over 15 minus 2 times 5 is 10, over 3 times 5 is 15. And then I can subtract them. The denominator is the same as it is in the question. And just do what it says for the numbers on the top. 1 minus 10 would be negative 9. So negative 9 over 15 would be equivalent to D. Let's say you're being asked to find the number that would come next, the fourth term. So I'm finding, I'll say T4 for the fourth term equals, T1 will be the first term in the sequence, in this case it's 2 over 3, plus n minus 1, n is equal to 4 because it's the fourth term, and then times the common difference which is negative 9 over 15. And then simplify as much as you can. 2 thirds plus 4 minus 1 would just be 3. So I've got 3 times negative 9 over 15. When you are trying to multiply with a fraction, all you need to do is make your whole number over 1 and multiply the top. 3 times 9 would be negative 27 
over 1 times 15 would be 15. Now, to be able to simplify this, I need to have common denominators. I don't, so I'll multiply my 2 over 3 by 5. 2 times 5 is 10, over 3 times 5 is 15, minus 27 over 15, and that would be equal to 10 minus 27 would be equal to negative 17. So I found that the fourth term would be negative 17 over 15, so I could put that in top, up top to my sequence. Um, let's do a question where we're being asked to find the number of terms in a sequence. Sometimes you'll have infinitely many terms, and sometimes you don't. So we'll do an example where you don't have infinitely many terms. So let's say we have the numbers 4, 7, 10, dot, 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 and 49. And we want to find out how many numbers does the dot 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 represent. And so we'll use this formula again. Tn can also stand for just the last term. So in this case, Tn is equal to 49. T1 is the first term, 4, plus n minus 1. It's actually n that we're solving for. n will be the number of terms. And the common difference, all we need to do is take one term to 7 minus whatever term is in front. 7 minus 4 would just be 3. And then simplify as much as you can. I'm going to use the distributive property to um, account for my 3 times n minus 1. So 3 times n would be 3n. Three, 3 times negative 1 would be negative 3. I have 49 equals 4 minus 3 would be 1 plus 3n. So I'll subtract 1 from both sides to make the 1 go away, and I'll get 48 equals to 3n. And when I do 48 divided by 3, I get n equals 16. So that's actually 16 terms in this sequence. So there was one, two, three, plus a whole bunch more, and then that was my sixteenth term. The last thing I'm going to talk about um, in this video is finding the arithmetic mean. So, oh, let's erase that. So to use to find the arithmetic mean we're going to use the same formula, T n equals T one plus n minus one equals D and I have the numbers up here. I've got 7 and 23, and I want to find the three arithmetic means in between them. So I've got 7, and I have 1, 2, 3 numbers in between, and I'm trying to figure out what those numbers are. So Tn is going to be equal to the last term. T1 is equal to the first term. And the number, or the letter that I'm going to solve for, is going to be the common difference. You'll see why in a sec. So Tn would be 23 equals T1 is 7 plus N minus 1. Well, I know that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms in total. So N will be equal to 5 minus 1 times D. So 23 is equal to 7 plus 5 minus 1, which is be 4D. I'll subtract 7 from both sides to make that go away. 23 minus 7 would be, would be equal to 16. So 16 equals 4D. Divide both sides by 4, and I'll get 4 equals D. So what that tells me is that to get from the first term to the second term, I add 4. 7 plus 4 will be 11. So that's the first of my arithmetic means. I add 4 again. 11 plus 4 will be 15. I add 4 again. 15 plus 4 will be 19. And if I add 4 one more time, do I get to 23? Yeah, I do. So we can feel pretty confident that the answer we got is right.